Welcome back to the channel. It is the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself, Damien McLeod. Now we're going to dive into one of those issues I've talked about before, the issue of the fake natty. Two guys in particular, one, a uh, Brandon Harding and a uh, second, a Dylan McKenna. Now they both recently dropped a video, Brandon Harding's video saying gaining muscle while dieting. And then Dylan McKenna, how to avoid injuries, tips on maintaining gains while cutting. So the avoiding injuries part is whatever, that's avoiding injuries, but how to maintain gains while cutting. Meanwhile, Brandon Harding's talking about gaining muscle while cutting. And both of these videos were dropped pretty much at the same time, around seven hours ago. So you got one guy claiming you can maintain your gains while cutting. One guy is talking about you're gonna put on muscle while cutting. And now for all the people out there, all the rookies who don't understand yet because you're new to this, and to the other guys in here who are completely delusional, just just idiotic when it comes to this muscle building thing. Because some of these guys who aren't natural, you just refuse to wake up and smell the coffee. The best part of waking up is folders in your cup and common sense with them. You hear what I'm saying? Both of these guys here pretty much frauding. Now, I can, I can say this. When you're cutting, and this is from experience of a natural lifter, when you are cutting weight, you're calorie restricting, meaning you're not getting in everything that you need calorie-wise because you're trying to lose body fat. Because at some point in time, you listen to one of these guys who told you to put on, to, well, to eat like 5,000 calories a day while bulking, and you're going to make all these gains. Now, the only things you're going to be gaining is a lot of fat. The muscle takes time. You're going to gain X amount of pounds of fat way, 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 way before you gain the muscle. All right? Now, putting on, like I said, 10, 20, 30, 40 pounds of fat on a bulk doesn't determine how much muscle you're going to gain during a bulk. What determines the muscle you gain during the bulk is the food you eat. You have to eat for what you want to do. All right? So you want to build muscle, you got to eat for it. You got to get your protein. You don't eat four or 500 grams of protein a day. That's ridiculous. Your body can't do anything with that. But you do need to get enough. You need your whole foods. You need your vegetables. You need your fruits. You need your nutrients, your vitamins, your grain, your good carbs, your good healthy fats. Those are the things you need. And then you need consistency. But, you know, I'm, 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 I'm losing focus here. Let's get back to these fake-ass videos these guys are posting, you know. So, Brandon Harding is gaining muscle while dieting. First of all, everyone knows in the fitness industry that there are guys out there who are using alternative fuel sources to put on muscle. And a lot of people out there believe that Brandon Harding is one of them. So when you got a guy who made his gains the quick, easy, uh, reckless way, you know what I'm saying? And then they turn around and want to tell you you can gain muscle while dieting. Well, if you're uh, taking alternative fuel sources, chances are you can. But if you're a natural, don't even think about it. Don't waste your time. It's just a gimmick. It's a trick. It's clickbait. They know that... Th Listen... Dylan McKenna. I'm looking at the, the thumbnail here on this guy's uh, recent video. Tips on maintaining gains while cutting. Come on, look at this guy. I remember when he first showed up on David Lay's video, this guy looked like... <laughs> he looked like the average Joe on the street. No muscle at all. Now, you know, a little time goes by, all of a sudden, look at him. Arms are huge. He's about as big as the Brandon Harding guy. But they want to tell you they're natural. A lot of people out there, like I said, believe that this guy's not natural either. So when he's saying tips on maintaining gains, while the other guy, Brandon Harding, is saying tips on uh, gaining muscle, you're not going to do either of those things when you're in a caloric deficit. Alright? Dieting, cutting, the same thing. You're not going to maintain your muscle where you're at, you're going to lose some. Regardless. No matter how perfect to try to make your cut, because you're restricting calories. But the good thing about it is, once you finish your cut, 
you can snap back. Give it a few weeks, like I say, a month, with um some real some real tactical tra assault training in the gym. Meaning, you go in there, you start off the first week, you just get your body used to the heavier weight, you ease your way up, and then you slowly go in and you push yourself. You get those sets and those reps. Push yourself beyond your limits. And you're now eating at caloric maintenance, or slightly above, meaning one or 200 calories above, making sure you get your meat in. You're going to start to get that muscle back. You're going to get those carbs in your system. You're going to get that strength back. But holding on to it while dieting, it's not going to happen. I've said this a thousand times, it's not going to happen. For all those rookies out there who are new to the game, and you're hearing this video, it's not going to happen. To all those older guys who know it's not going to happen, we both know, it's not going to happen. To all those delusional fanboys out there who think Alpha Destiny is natural, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Didn't he just recently do a, 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 a bodybuilding event? He just came off of a cut, and he's going in, and all of a sudden he's crowned the strongest kid in Canada? It's not gonna happen. Naturally? Not naturally now. With alternative fuel sources at play, yeah, you can do a lot of things. I've seen a lot of crazy shit. Alright? Now, if these guys were promoting steroid workouts, then okay, I wouldn't have shit to say. Of all, the, all of these guys are, they're, they're claiming natural. They're claiming natty. They're telling you that, no, I don't do anything but eat, sleep, and work out. And I make all these gains. Oh, well, you didn't do it? Well, maybe you weren't working out hard enough. Maybe you didn't drink enough protein powders. Maybe you didn't drink enough eggs. Maybe you didn't eat enough chicken breasts. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a game. The fitness industry, it needs a reset. I'll say it again. The fitness industry needs a reset because it's filled to the brim with fraudulent motherfuckers. <laughs> it's, it's imperative that people understand working out is supposed to be a healthy thing. Alright, taking alternative fuel sources, there's nothing healthy about that. When I see alternative fuel sources, you know what I'm saying. Taking all these drugs and compounds to put on muscle, to be a power lifter, to lift these heavier weights. At the end of the day, no one gives a shit. You may go to an event, people are good throwing out their oohs and ahs, and you're living in your ego, and you're feeling all good. But when it's said and done, those people go home, you go home, and you continue your journey up until the point where your body breaks down. Just like these weird synthol freaks out there. These guys are injecting oil into their, into their body, into their biceps and triceps and chest. Because they're weird and they're delusional and they're looking for attention they only do it because now they want people to look and then people might look ooh, ah, and then they go on by their day and then you're left standing there with a body full of oil on the brink of death <laughs> because you know that shit can infect you man all these guys are getting their fucking arms cut up chopped up because they're getting these infections all this big balls of pus all that all that all that Size you get in those biceps, and those big synthol guys are flexing for the first 48 hours or a few days. That's just a bunch of oil, but then that oil starts to interfere with your body, and then your body turns into pus because it's a foreign substance and it's getting infected because it shouldn't be there. And now it was a ball, now instead of it being a ball of oil, it's a big ball of pus. You'd be walking around big pus arms, big pus chest, big pus back, they put it everywhere. It's a big fucking pus ball, and then that pus gets so infected that it ruptures. You gotta go to the doctor, and that shit looks nasty. But, you know, you can't tell these people anything. You can't tell them nothing, because they're lost delusional fools. The synthol freaks, the fake natties, you know, the guys who believe, you know, been pressing 225 for 30, 40 reps is attainable naturally. <laughs> no, 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 it's not, it's all alternative fuel sources, it's always had, it always has been, seriously, even Arnold Schwarzenegger came out and said he was on stuff, and there was a time where people actually said, no, I, I believe he's natural, and the man came out himself and said, oh shit, I'm not, <laughs> so, what about the guys who just swore up and down that they were, they, there, there were guys who would argue you down, about Arnold Schwarzenegger being natural. No, he, he can't be. 
It's just hard work. That's what hard work and dedication does for you. I know, trust me. And, da, da, da. and then he comes out and just makes them all feel stupid by just admitting it. But like I said, you know, common sense is not all that common. There's a full born every minute. <laughs> so, yeah, with th- if you haven't already done so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I'm subliminally in your mind. So until next time, get to the gym, do work, and muscle up. My adversaries cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes. My lyrics explode on contact, came in you hoes. Who else but mama's only fun? But the phony niggas up, uh, say my name, watch bitches come. Now fire when